And the fifth. Locked up. All set. They're off and running. From the center, instinctual away quickly and sent to the lead by Gaffleon with roll on Big Joe moving to him on the outside. Down at the rail, it's silver and black. And from between horses, gambling holidays got into the clear. You had to angle for racing room. O'Connor Sunset went into the top flight, and Tio Tony's the one that's not keeping up early as they run down the backstretch. Roll on, Big Joe, and Louis Sia is back from Louisiana and in front three parts of a length. Instinctual is latched on to him second from the outside. O'Connor Sunset is now third. Silver and Black is kept close to the action while racing in fourth, then gambling holiday, and four back to the trailer, Tio Tony. Quarter, legit, 23-1, and one, with the half mile to go. Roll on, Big Joe, leads by two. Instinctual is second with Gambling Holiday trying to catch up from the back. Silver and Black is at the rail, and O'Connor Sunsets in the red between horses. 45-1 and one for a half mile. Roll on, Big Joe. He's trying to do just that. He's going awfully quick, and he's making everybody else work hard behind him. Five sixteenths to go. Roll on, Big Joe. Threatens to blow this wide open. He's now a 10-length lead from O'Connor Sunset second. Instinctual is next with Silver and Black and Gambling Holiday. Three quarters and nine and four. At this point, roll on, Big Joe just racing against the clock as he's on his way home to an, an easy maiden victory. Roll on, Big Joe. He's wandering way out in the center. He's probably looking for other horses because he hasn't seen any for over seven furlongs. Roll on, Big Joe, under jockey Louis Saez with a dominant effort here to start the Rainbow Six. He won by at least 10, and it could have been more. Second was Gambling Holiday. Third was O'Connor Sunset, and fourth was Silver and Black in 138 and 1.